If you have a baby or you're about to have a baby, this video will be pretty important for you. We are gonna talk about the right way to start baby foods. And you know, like how and when and what. I'm Dr. Williams, I'm a board certified pediatrician and I have five of my own. And it feels like a lot of the advice you're getting on baby foods is probably wrong. Your Aunt Mildred is going to say you have to start them on like a rice cereal or an oat cereal first, and your grandma is going to say if you don't start them on a vegetable first, they are going to develop a sweet tooth. I'm going to give you full permission to ignore all of that. Baby's taste buds experience things way differently than ours do, and their flavor preferences tend to change rapidly over time. I'm a fan of their first foods being a healthy fat of all things. Their developing little brains love healthy fats. Things like pureed salmon or mashed up avocados. I have some parents that add a little bit of olive oil to other purees. And when it comes to introducing new foods, really, the sky is the limit. I think you'd be surprised at how few foods there are that babies can't have. The big one, of course, being honey. And one rule that is pretty important is that we introduce just one new food at a time. Like every two or three days, we're introducing something else. That way, if there's an unexpected response to some sort of a food, we know what food it is that baby's responding to. I think a reasonable question to ask would be, okay, then when is the right time to start baby foods? And I'll be honest, you're never going to nail it like this is the Tuesday that you need to start. I think anywhere between four-ish to six-ish months is a reasonable time as long as they're showing certain signs of readiness. They really should have good head control and we really want them to start showing signs of interest in your food. This is the kid that just like stares you down as you're taking bites of your dinner or whatever. When you're starting to see that, throw some pureed foods their way. And I'm going to try to talk you into baby led weaning when they're six months old, but before six months old, it's just purees. As always, I'm here to help you raise healthy, happy, and thriving children. So make sure you hit follow if you could use some evidence-based help with your kids.